Well, the history uh, is as mentioned, that um, at one time it was thought, and simply not by the church, that a person who committed suicide uh, was giving up on life, and God was the author of life, and therefore it was a denial of God's um, overseeing of one's life and so on. Thus, doing that constituted a sin. Even many medical people believe that. But as time progressed and uh, people who had committed suicide, that their motives and intentions were more clearly uh, studied and known, it became more clear that something is going on in terms of the person's emotional life, um, their life deep in their heart, that they've lost perspective. And when a person loses perspective, it is like Freud would say, seeing the crack on the wall and not seeing the wall anymore. And they see only the crack, you lose perspective, and that leads to depression. And one avenue of getting out of depression, not the only one, obviously, is to commit suicide. So the church has come to see that, that a person who is committed, committing suicide or has committed suicide for complicated, unknown reasons often is lost perspective. Thus, that's what's occurred rather than a denial of God. And that's fundamentally why the church has changed its whole disposition toward that question.